Welcome. So I want to show you every single new feature we just added to Journalist AI and stick with me because it's going to be a thousand percent worth it. The very first one is our AI editor. So any article you create a revision for, you can highlight parts of the text as such, right? And we will allow you to do a lot of stuff. You can rewrite it. You can simplify it. You can make it longer, make it shorter. You can even add keywords inside of this paragraph. So you can sprinkle in keywords to make this more quote unquote SEO optimized for those certain keywords, right? This is the very, very first feature. And I want to break it down a bit. If you don't want to see the breakdown and want to see just the next feature, just skip forward. But again, right now I'm going to break down how this works. So let's say, for example, I have this article and I want to change this sentence a bit, right? Maybe it isn't like very good. I just want to make it a bit longer to give it a bit more, more context, right? Just click here, make it longer. The AI will analyze it and give us a suggestion. So instead of this TV boasts a full HD 1080p resolution delivering clear and vibrant images. I wanted to make it a bit longer, right? Give it a bit more context. So a journalist I gave me this, I just click accept and the text is automatically updated. Now I can keep on going, can take this whole paragraph and maybe this is a bit too long. Just make it shorter, right? Make it shorter and yeah, I will make it shorter as such, right? Except it is shorter. Now I can as well, let's see, for example, I can just select, for example, just one sentence, not the whole paragraph, right? And then I can ask the AI to rewrite all this. I don't like how it sounds. It's too AI. It's just rewrite. Yeah, I will rewrite it, right? As such. Now, what I can also do is, like I said, let's say, for example, I am trying to uh, rank this article and optimize it. And I see that my keywords aren't included enough in the article. So my article isn't optimized enough, optimized enough for the keywords I wanted to rank for, right? And so I go here to this whole paragraph and I just see, for example, uh, LCD TV, right? Let's say I want to optimize my article for those keywords. I just hit enter and AI will analyze it and suggest places and sprinkle in the keyword LCD TV wherever it best sees fit, except it just updated the text, right? Now I can select all of it if I want, right? But I won't do this right now. I'll leave it up to you to you can test it out. So that's the very first feature. Super excited, giving you a lot more control of what the output of the content is, giving you again, of course, access to all of these AI tools. And there's much more coming. There's one crazy one coming in about maybe a week or so, which you're gonna love. So yeah, that's the very first feature. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is now we have a automatic AI sentence completer. So let's say, for example, I am here and I want to write but this TV is so much more. And then the AI will give me a suggestion of what to write about more. I can improve it if I want just by pressing tab like so or not, right? But again, if I want to buy a TV, I would write in there. Wait a second and the AI will give me based, not just on the context of this sentence, but based on the context of the whole article and the, this paragraph in specific, what I can write in the next sentence. For example, here, as you see, <clears throat> excuse me, it talks about the Insignia 42 inch class F20. Now, in this paragraph in specific, we don't talk about this TV. However, the article as a whole, as you know, is about this TV. So again, the context is based and the recommendations are based on what, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the whole context of the article is. Again, the best way for you to experience this is to give it a go to try it out. So I'll leave a link and I'll leave the description so you can give it a go and uh, experience this for yourself. Now, second feature release is if you go to articles, generate articles, there's a new generation mode. So we have the SEO article, which is your standard SEO blog post. We have AI news articles, which basically is generating news articles, factual news articles with images, links on current events, YouTube video to blog posts, which basically give you, you give it a YouTube video URL and generates an SEO optimized blog post based on the video. And now the new feature is Amazon product reviews. So you just go to Amazon, paste in here your product URL, which I'll do right now, right? Click generate article. You can choose the language you can put on with this, but basically what the AI will do is it will take your Amazon product listing and generate a review article you can post on your blog as an affiliate. Now, I won't wait for this to generate because I've already done it. So I'm just going here to my history tab and look for my Amazon uh, da, 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 dog bad review. I click it and there we go. Like the URL I gave it was this right here. I can open it up. This was the URL of the product I gave it, right? A dog bad product on Amazon, right? All this, right? I put the URL and the AI generated this for me, right? Click view, all this then with AI, took the picture off the Amazon listing, table of contents and a proper review with the links to the actual product itself. And if you're an affiliate, you can add affiliate links if you want automatically, right? All this, right? 
uh, comfort and support, easy maintenance, durability, safety and security, right? All this, and you can just click here to post it straight to your site, right? Again, you can. this works for any Amazon product. And if you're building an Amazon review log, uh, you can just leverage this for any single product. And if you're an affiliate, even better, right? So that's the second feature, super exciting, already live in your account. Now, one thing that might have gone unnoticed is this little tab right here, Projects tab. Now, if you have multiple clients, you can organize your clients in tabs. For example, in this default project, which is just for testing, right? I have all this stuff right here, a lot of trash, right? And if I have multiple clients, I wanna have all their stuff here at the same time, right? For Portuguese clients, for English clients, right? For blog stuff, for videos, right? I wanna organize my stuff, right? So I can add projects and I can have every single thing organized for multiple clients. This case doesn't have any, this one doesn't have any too, right? But I can create new projects for multiple clients. Actually, this one has it, right? But I can create multiple projects for multiple clients. So if, you have, if you're an agency, right, and you I don't keep, I wanna keep yourself organized, you can leverage this little feature, which might seem small, but saves you a lot of time. And you can have all your projects organized into little tabs, which is pretty cool if you do so myself. Now, of course, another feature which I've already went over, but not officially, is the YouTube video to blog post. So here, you can post in any YouTube video URL, and the AI will convert the contents from the video into an actual tangible blog post in any language. Again, I'm gonna go here to my history tab, go to the default project and go to uh, ones that I've actually done with YouTube. Let's see here, this is in Portuguese, I wanna make sure I found one in English. Uh, for example, Google algorithm leak, right? The URL of the video I posted was this one right here. So it was a video of this guy speaking about the, the latest Google algorithm leaks, right? He was speaking about all this during over eight minutes, right? And I just took this URL, pasted it in here, generated the article, and this is what it came up with, right? The AI gave me a blog post with a table of contents, an actual video embed, going over every single thing that he talks about on the video. And again, I can click here to post it straight to my site. If you have a brand that's posting YouTube videos and also blog content, you can just convert all the YouTube content, right? All the YouTube content into blog posts and syndicate them to your blog, right? It's super cool. Again, by the way, if you're using Journalist AI, you can do a lot of stuff with this because there's social media automation too. So you can have literally a YouTube channel producing all of these videos, right? All of these videos, these are videos, by the way. Having Journalist AI convert them into SEO optimized blog posts, right? All these unique blog posts, right? And then if you connect your social media, you can have the AI also syndicate these blog posts to Facebook, Twitter, which is now called X, LinkedIn with dedicated social posts. So a social media post dedicated to each platform with a featured image and a great text to call to action to links to the blog post after. So a lot of automations can be done here with Journalist AI. This is just a start. And this is basically the whole set of new features we release in July. Hopefully you like it, give it a go. And if you watch this far, I wanna give you a reward. If you go to tryjournalist.com, I'll leave a link down below in the description, by the way. Uh, go to here to the support bubble and say to the guys, listen guys, I've watched this video, I came from this video, copy the video URL, paste it in here and say, listen guys, I've watched this video, I came from this video, I want a coupon code. And the guys will hook you up with your coupon code if you wanna get a paid plan. If you don't wanna get a paid plan, no need. I mean, you can get a couple of articles for free still. And um, there's a pay as you go plan as well. But if you wanna grab, grab a paid plan, go here, just ask them for a coupon code. Let them know you came from this video and the guys will hook you up with the coupon code. And of course, just to finish off, if you have any ideas or any features we want us to build, just go here to request a feature and type it out exactly what it is that you want. Because if we see it, we will build it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.